the risk takers. Supported in part by KPMG, the National Entrepreneurship Development Institute, and the Royal Bank. Hello, I'm Balan Matthews. The people you'll meet tonight have a sense of venture and an eye for opportunity. Achieving the results they want with an open mind, bold strokes, and an overwhelming sense of optimism. More about them in tonight's edition of The Risk Takers, award-winning television for the entrepreneurial mind. Thank you for joining us. If we told you that a box the size of a small book with outlets for headphones and a pair of sunglasses could alleviate stress and give you a better quality of life, you might sense some strange vibes. Well, it's the brainwave of inventor David Siever who says his product does just that. It makes lights and tones pulse at different frequencies according to the mood you choose, slow ones for sleep, faster frequencies for meditation, even speedier for alertness. According to him, you dial in the program and voila, get a made-to-order state of mind. Curious? Here's more from Mark Mallet. You guys are from NASA. That's right, you're from NASA. No, oh, come on, fellas. No, not the eye. God. This is one way to use light. Oh. Oh. Gravy. This is another. It's called brainwave entrainment. We're flashing lights in the eyes in different frequencies and patterns and pulsing tones in the ears. I'm just going to put you on an alpha session. It's an invention made by this man. David Seaver. 14 years ago, he was asked to make a device to help actors and meditators relax. And I thought, this is wacky, nutty stuff. And so I had no interest in building any more either. But the results were anything. Saying, hey, we're having wonderful results. And I'm thinking to myself, if this is a placebo, it's one heck of a powerful placebo. Hi, Linda. How are you doing today? It turns out Seaver's technology isn't new after all. Light and sound influence was discovered years ago. You know, the whole concept of photic driving was discovered in 1934. They were doing research on pain and anesthesia and in dentistry all through the 50s and 60s. And this indeed wasn't a placebo. This is an actual scientific phenomenon that works very well. Now, what we're going to do today is another one of our uh, alpha stem sessions, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Trying to get your alpha um, frequencies to come down. What we're trying to accomplish using the, the uh, light stimulation is to either speed up or slow down the brain waves, depending on what the patient's needs are. Psychologist Dr. Orst Mueller uses Siever's devices to help treat patients suffering from chronic problems. Many of his patients generate too many slow brain waves, called alpha. We've been finding that people who have a high amount of these slow waves in their EEG, Frequently they have complaints of poor attention and concentration, sleep disorder, and they're often depressed or irritable mood. Often these people use medications, prescribe narcotics, or sometimes resort to alcohol and drugs. And they're pulsing at the same rate as the lights that are flashing in your eyes? Yes. Okay. But use brainwave entrainment technology on some of them and... Uh, we're finding that people with actual, like, chronic pain and so on, that it's reducing the pain significantly. And some people almost completely. Eleanor Barr was widowed, depressed, and experiencing severe facial and headaches. She practically ate Tylenol to control the pain. How many a day now? About uh, four or five. Four or five. Before, how much was it? Up to 20. Up to 20, yeah. okay. And so I pressed on in this fashion for quite a while absolutely the wrong thing to do. Then she saw Seaver's brainwave device in a medical journal. Hey, Eleanor. Are you here? Mm -hmm. yeah. How are things? Great, thank you. Oh, that's good to hear. Nice and relaxing? Mm -hmm. It always okay. is. I uh, learned how to relax, how to sleep, and how to control pain. And it's changed my life immeasurably. Stress reduction? Increased self-esteem, uh, lower anxiety, uh, better coping ability, better um, ability to take leadership roles. Yeah, you feel like you're just somewhere else. You're, you're, you're gone. 
It takes you away from whatever you're in. Shirley Long uses the David Paradise to relax. I feel like I am doing uh, better at managing stress than I did before. I think it's really helping me to to be calmer, be more easygoing. This sets up the similar mind state and brainwave state in 10 minutes. Uh, for most people, what meditation takes about 10 years to accomplish. The two to eight hundred dollar units can slow down brain waves to put you in a deep sleep or speed them up to increase alertness. It's very interesting what it does. Instead of coffee? Absolutely, absolutely. Probably somewhere between uh, 10 to 20 percent of the people who don't seem to respond. But many people do. That's because some 80 percent of disorders are believed to be stress related. If our devices reduce anxiety and stress, or reactions to stress anyway, and anxiety, and 80% of all illnesses are, re are, re are a reflection of stress and anxiety, then our machines work on an awful lot of stuff. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, we're going to move you to uh, the brainwave entrainment room. we get, get get set up on that, and we'll take it from there and come back here and adjust you. Okay, okay. just go ahead and follow me. Okay. The brainwave entrainment, um, helps people relax, okay? Mental relaxation and muscular relaxation. And um, <clears throat> that's almost essential to uh, adjust and manipulate joints. Sure. Dr. Stephen Goodwin combines Seaver's on. devices with his chiropractic practice. Okay, how you feeling? Good. How's uh, the mid-back area? It's relaxed. It's enhancing the effect and uh, sometimes uh, for certain patients, just the brainwave and treatment alone. Uh, works effectively for headaches and um, what are you doing here? for chronic pain. Take a deep breath in and uh, good. Okay. While evidence is mounting that brainwave entrainment can enhance and in some cases even replace other therapies, there's no evidence that it can actually increase your intelligence. To my disappointment. What do we know? What do we know? If I know what we know, well, then I can tell you what we know and if someone else knows, okay? I mean, it's just... <laughs> Be more specific. Oh. Oh. And the scientific community now is finally starting to really latch into this, and some real credible researchers are saying, hey, this isn't wacky like we thought. This is real stuff. And that's been Siever's biggest obstacle. Like most new health solutions, skepticism in the medical community runs high. Research is the key. I'm getting true credibility for what this technology does. And the growth is really starting to pick up this year now that we've done a year and a half's worth of research. Well, in many cases, what we're able to do is get patients off a lot of their medications. This could make society healthier, less violent, and more productive. Answer to my prayers. <laughs>